Note, for more information, background, and examples of routing information protocol, see the RIP version 1 video. This video is the SQL RIP version 2, so we will cut to the chase. First, let's set up the RIP version 2 protocol and the networks we wish to advertise. Previously, we set up RIP version 1. Remember that RIP is a broadcast-based distance vector protocol, and RIP version 1 doesn't support the transmission of subnet information. Now we're going to try RIP version 2, and RIP version 2 does support the transmission of subnet information. Um, like RIP 1, once we configure the dynamic routing protocol, we don't have to ask static entries, but we will have to tell each router what to advertise as far as a network. So, for instance, on this stub network with the perimeter router Galactica, we'll have to tell it to advertise network 10. And on the middle router that's connected to networks 20, 30, and 40, it'll have to advertise all three of those. And finally, the Valkyrie here, again, on a stub network, this perimeter router, will have to advertise network 50. Now, um, by default, you know, these broadcasts go out every 30 seconds, and usually within maybe a minute to two minutes, convergence will take place. And the routers will have learned of the other networks. So we'll test it out, and we'll see if we can't send packets from maybe Artemis through all the networks to Daedalus or Poseidon or Zeus or somebody Aries. So let's go ahead and set up the first router. And to do that, I just want to log in. Kiwi for my password. Um, I want to go to uh, privilege mode here. And I want to go to global configuration mode with config T. And now I want to implement uh, a dynamic routing protocol. So I'm going to use the router command. And it's going to be router rip. And once I do that, I want to specify version 2 this time. So I'm going to type version 2. And the network I want to advertise, oop, net rock, uh, network, is going to be 199.207.10.0. Uh, That's the network I'm advertising. Okay, and then with this I can exit out or I can hit Control Z and jump all the way down to the privilege command prompt. And I'm just going to show my running configuration real quick if I do this. And pop down here a little bit, so we scroll down. And notice it tells me here I'm using the router rip protocol, I'm using version 2, and the network that I'm advertising. Okay, and then there are a couple other commands that you might find useful. Um, show IP route, and it will not have learned about any other networks yet through rip because I haven't set up rip on the other routers. But once I do, we'll come back and they'll start to appear with an R prefixed in front of them. Um, so let's go ahead and eg exit out. Before we do, let's save what we have. Copy the running configuration to the startup configuration. We'll copy run start. <coughs> and we're all set. Now let's hop on the middle router. And again, we want to set it up. I'm going to type in my password. I want to go to privilege mode. And once inside un under privilege mode, I want to go to global configuration mode. And now I want to go into router configuration mode, and I want to implement RIP, so I'm going to type router RIP. I want to do version 2. Okay, and now I'm going to, again, tell, the, tell it the networks I want to advertise. Um, so, network 199-207-20. Uh, and 30-0. And... 40, 0. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z to drop back down to privilege mode, or you could just do exit, exit if you prefer. And again, I'm just going to show you my running configuration real quick. Notice I'm running Routing Information Protocol version 2, and here are the networks I'm currently advertising. And once again, um, I'm going to copy my running configuration to my starter configuration to save things in the router. And I'll go ahead and exit. And finally on the Valkyrie, I'm going to log in. And I'm going to use the password of Kiwi. And I want to go to Privilege Mode. And inside of Privilege Mode, I want to go to Global Configuration Mode. And then I want to go to Router Configuration Mode. I want to implement RIP. And I'm going to do version 2. And the network I want to advertise is just one. It's on the perimeter router 199. 207.50.0 Okay, and then I can do Control Z 
and I'm going to look at my running configuration. If I scroll all the way down, um, let me, oops, let me say that again, show you what I'm advertising. And then version 2 and then 192.0750. Okay. So I'm going to copy the running configuration to the startup configuration and save everything. And then I'm going to go ahead and exit. And then we need to wait about a minute, maybe a minute and a half for convergence to take place for all these routers to learn about all the other routers. But while this is taking place, why don't we turn on some debugging and we can kind of see the the rip traffic going around. So um, we'll do this on the perimeter router and then we'll probably really get some action on the middle router because we'll be getting broadcast from both sides. So we'll take a look at that. But for now, let's just look at some of those commands that we can use. So the first one, show IP route. Notice now I have three routes and I've learned them through rip. So they're prefixed with an R and it's 30 and 40 and 50. And I have direct connections to 10 and 20. So I've learned about all of those routes now. Um, another command we might use or choose to use, um, debug IP rip. And in this case, it'll actually show us the traffic now, the messages you know, being transferred back and forth in our rip broadcasts as each router you know, learns about other routers and neighbors, other networks. And then I'm just going to turn that off with undebug all. You could also have said undebug rip. But, um, let me see. Show IP protocols. And then in this case, uh, routing protocol is rip. Sending updates every 30 seconds. And that's the default. Invalid after 180 seconds. There's the timeout. Hold down for 180 and then flushed after 240 seconds just gives you some additional information on when you're implementing route or the routing information protocol. Now let's test our RIP version 2 routed network. Let's see on this router we sh let's just try a few things here. Let's see we'll ping 199.207.10.10 and we get four exclamation points so we're good there. Um, Let's try 21. And now let's get to the other end of the router. Let's try 31. May not, since convergence may not have taken place yet. But it looks like we, okay. So we've learned all of the routes, all the networks. Um, let's try 3010, which is our host. There's our remote host. Okay, so from the Galactica here, this perimeter router on a stub network, we're able to go all the way, to, you know, over here to this router and on onto this network. Let's try to get from there to say the the router on the other side, the Valkyrie here, which is our other perimeter router on our other, you know, the stub end of the network. So again, if I did ping, and let's try going one side of the router, 42. Okay, and we're good there. And let's try 51, and we're good there. And let's try 50, let's do the data list, which was, what was that, 5010? Yeah, 5010. Okay, so it looks like route, looks like, it looks like our uh, dynamic routing protocol RIP version two has done its job. Um, we'll go ahead and exit here, and we're gonna hop on a host on Artemis here. We'll just give it a test. We'll go from Artemis, network 10, through network 20, through you know 30, 40, and then 50, and we'll see if we can't get echo replies sent to Daedalus and then sent all the way back from Daedalus from 50, um, through 40, through 20, and through 10. So we'll kind of test the, the full route there. So let's see if we can ping from 199.207.10.10 Artemis, let's see if we can ping 199.207.50.10 Daedalus. As long as our gateway settings are okay, and that's the other thing. Um, to, before I do that, we we'll want to make sure that our hosts are configured properly. And so in this case, you know, notice I need to make sure that my gateway is this end of the router. Same thing over here on Daedalus. If his gateway is not configured properly, it won't be able to route the echo replies back. 
then if he's you know if he's 51 that's what he's configured as so that's good that's, you know the router needs to be the gateway on all of these hosts and this router needs to be the gateway on this host so you just want to make sure of that so let's open up a DOS prompt on Artemis and we'll try it let's ping um, 199.207.10.2 um, which is actually let's, let's, let's do 10.1 sorry the gateway I have no problem reaching the gateway with you know, echo replies now let's try reaching 22 all right so we'll reach across that to the next network let's see if those packets are routed okay and then those packets are routed okay the next network now let's see if we can reach across to 42. We'll jump across the next network. So we'll do 42. And we can reach across there. And now let's try to get to 5010. We'll go to 5010. Okay. So there you have it, RIP version 2.